In a major development, India has successfully tested the extended range Brahmos supersonic system with an indigenous booster, and it has successfully validated a range of more than 400 kilometers. The test was scheduled to be conducted in mid-2020, but the test was called off as India had banned all international flights, which prevented the participation of some critically important observers from Russia. The CEO of Brahmos Aerospace has confirmed that the extended range Brahmos will have a range of 500 km and a speed of Mach 4, which will ensure that it remains unchallenged in the coming decades, and remains undefeated against any surface-to-air defense systems being developed by the adversaries. India has the technology to increase its range to 800 km like the Russian Anik supersonic system, and is currently awaiting clearance by the Indian government. India has issued an OTAM warning for the launch of experimental flight vehicle for a range of 25 km from 5th October to 7th of October 2020, which has led to speculation about the user test of quick reaction surface-to-air system, as the indigenous 4.7 Mach capable truck-mounted system had completed its developmental trial in December 2019, and is scheduled to be inducted into the Indian Armed Forces by 2021. Two monotam warnings from 30th September to 4th October have also been issued for a range of 715 km and 315 km, and it might be related to the test of the Agni 1P system and the short range Prale tactical ballistic system, respectively. Hindustan Aeronautics has achieved two significant landmarks yesterday, which includes the rollout of 300th Dhruv Advanced Light Helicopter for the military, and the inaugural ground test of the first limited series light combat helicopter. Top officials have said that HAL has agreed to build the first 15 limited series helicopters for 125 crore rupees per helicopter, which is one third the cost of an Apache helicopter. The Indian Army and the Indian Air Force is expected to sign the contract for 15 light combat helicopters by the end of this year, but HAL has already built nine airframes from its internal allocated fund of 1800 crore rupees, so that it can start delivering the 15 helicopters from early 2021. The Indian Army has deployed the T-Rex long-range surveillance system developed by an Indian startup company Tanbo Imaging Private Limited which can pick up movement in day and night conditions at a range of 20 km, and has night vision capabilities and GPS trackers that will guide the Indian soldiers towards potential incursions. The T-Rex is powered by fuel cells, which allows the Indian Army to develop unmanned stations, and it requires visit by soldiers only for maintenance. Tanbo Imaging Private Limited has recently supplied 3,000 night vision goggles for counter operations, and is also working on several projects including the C-295 surveillance aircraft being procured by India, a project for the Arjun Mark II main battle tank, and is also working with Bharat Dynamics to integrate the spike anti-tank systems sourced from Israel. The committee consisting of DRDO officials Indian Army representatives and Ordnance Factory officials that are working to determine the cause of barrel burst incident of the advanced towed artillery gun system, will submit an evaluation report in the next 10 days. The artillery system had already tested hundreds of rounds before the bursting of its barrel, and the reason could be faulty ammunition, or a foreign object inside the barrel of the system. It is to be noted, that both the Danush artillery system and the American M777 ultralight howitzer had suffered barrel burst during their trial phase, due to the faulty ammunition provided by the ordnance factories. Oh,